Sometimes people will learn a painful lesson after they had lost it all in their life. I, 23 male, just went through a horrible breakup with someone I loved more than myself. It was a terribly toxic, very serious, three-year relationship where I just kept giving more and more of myself in hopes that it would be enough for them. But it never was. A very time I compromised or allowed myself to be okay with something I truly wasn't. I lost more of myself. I gave everything for this person. Allowed her to move in with me whenever she couldn't afford her own place. Past two years, bought her a car, made dinner for her every night, did all of the housely duties, paid for everything, solved every problem she faced, gave up a career path, etc. I was the only one ever putting in effort or initiative. I gave up so many opportunities and friends for her, as she was very possessive over me, and would get sad if I was out with friends or not around. Although I was an amazing boyfriend, I was treated like dog shit. I couldn't ever talk to her about my feelings. She would get so defensive and explosive. Me trying to tell her that I don't like something, or I need her to do more of something, would turn into her screaming, hitting me, saying the meanest shit possible, and running away. She was sexually, emotionally, and physically abusive. She even held a knife to my throat once. She took whatever anger and frustrations she had on the world out on me. So a lot of the time I was just silent, because it was easier to internalize and push down whatever I was feeling that it was to talk to her. I never understood this. All I ever wanted from her was unconditional love and acceptance. I gave her that, but she couldn't even give me anything close. I thought if I just gave more of myself and just was the perfect boyfriend, then it would fix the problem. I also really loved this person so much, so I was willing to put myself through the ringer in order to get to a point of happiness with them. So I wouldn't talk about my emotions or make myself okay with stuff that I deep down wasn't okay with. Happy wife, happy life. Doing that didn't fix shit. The more I gave, the more entitled, cruel, and manipulative she became. I became so sad and miserable and had no friends or anyone to talk to about this because she made me neglect and lose a lot of my friendships, too. I just had so much loyalty to her and felt like I couldn't explain my problems to friends or family without airing out our dirty laundry. My loyalty to this person was stronger than my own self-love or my ability to see clearly. Although I knew I was unhappy, I was willing to do whatever to make it work with this person. I know relationships aren't all sunshine and roses, and you have T.O. be able to go through things together and be stronger from it, etc. Leaving her was never a card on the table. Actually, we were going to get married as she isn't a U.S. citizen and her student visa expired. But out of the blue, she left me for some 28-year-old single dad deadbeat, who has a DUI still lives with his family and has nothing going on in his life. I was on a family vacation for two weeks, and during that time this guy was able to take her from me. What was her reasoning? This guy says he will marry me ASAP, and you won't. As I told her I wouldn't marry her until she could make me trust her again. After she had lied about some stuff in March, during the whole breakup period she treated me so inexplicably horrible, like I was the worst scum on the face of the earth. It really fucked me up. Although it still really hurts and has been very hard to go through, I feel free. I know I did everything possible, and that I was an amazing boyfriend. I know that I deserve so much better, and I hope ill find it. But I also feel so lost. I don't know myself anymore. I killed the person I once was to be with her, and she has now just killed that person. I'm trying to figure out who I am again, but I don't even know where to start. I also hate myself and don't respect myself for allowing myself to go through that admittedly horrible situation for three and a half years. It has profoundly affected me negatively, yet I didn't give a fuck for the past three years. So I'm really trying to wrap my head around how I could do that to myself and how I can forgive myself. I'm also trying to build my confidence and self-esteem back up something she completely obliterated during our relationship. 
I've been doing the right things surrounding myself with friends and family. Being honest and open about everything, going to the gym, eating well, trying to expand my mind. I'm going to move to a new city, etc. But nothing actually feels right. I'm just so tired, I can't focus. And I truthfully don't know how I'll ever find myself. The idea of moving and starting a new life scares the fuck out of me. I know it will be good for me and will force me to grow. And it's not like I really have anything here worth staying for anymore. But I'm just so scared, and I doubt my capabilities of being able to do so. I know my situation isn't unique, and many people have gone through similar heartbreaks. How did you get to the other side of the tunnel? Was there any piece of advice or anything someone said to you that really resonated and helped you? Also, sorry, I know this post is not the most focused, and is a bit rambly, but I just have a lot of emotions and feelings when thinking about all of this, and it's hard to write something very coherent about it or not. Now let's see some comments. Comment 1. You got very, very lucky. She was a cheat, a manipulator, an abuser, a user. In short, an absolute fucking nightmare. It's absolutely fantastic that she's gone to Parasite off some other guy. Your biggest worry now should be that she's going to turn up back at your door with the old I've made a terrible mistake shit. Stay strong. You are a good guy. You can do way better than her. Good luck. Comment 2. Your mistake is in your first sentence. Someone I loved more than myself. Even a saint knows their own worth. You need to work on your self-esteem. Nobody should allow themselves to be treated as you were. This is a downward spiral. The more you let them treat you badly, the less respect they have for you. Being worthy of respect is the foundation of Grey Rock and the 180. Make sure you get this right before you try again. OP, she will learn her lesson very soon. Cheaters will never be trusted by their partners. The best choice is for you to move on. Story 2. This will be a little ranty, so please bear with me. Long story short, and to sum up my other post about six months ago, my ex of 1.5 years cheated on me, bailed and continued his relationship with one of the girls he cheated on me with. I have been moving on, but struggling with the hurt from betrayal. Recently, when my friend got let go from her job, my ex reached out to her and offered her a position at his bar. I set boundaries with her and other people who know both of us, but as people do, especially when drinking, myself included, people have slipped up and mentioned a few things. This has been weird for me since I was pretty committed to NC. Here are some of the themes that have come up. People still often bring me up to my ex and how great I am. I'm average. I just try to not be a shit person like a lot of people my ex surrounds himself with. 2. When I get brought up, my ex still feels guilty and knows he fucked up. This I take with a grain of salt because I will never try to understand my ex's brain. But that is the general reaction described by people. 3. People that know us both tell me I am truly and completely better off without him. His best friend let me know he does not seem happier and is still on his bullshit. Lying, doing coke, not taking care of his outstanding legal issues, etc. This has been interesting to hear because I think a part of me really thought my ex got to skip off into the sunset with someone he loved while I was just left broken. I think the karma is he has to live with himself. Whatever the reasons were for cheating in my opinion equals an unhappy person. The type of unhappiness that does not get fixed by dating slash fucking slash loving someone else. It comes from truly working on yourself. I am a mess in a lot of ways, but I would rather heal from being cheated on than doing the cheating. I wish the best for my ex and hope he can heal by putting the work into himself so he does not hurt others. I don't know if he has the balls to truly do that and that makes me feel pity for him. I am definitely going to recommit to NC, because I do think it is healthier and will make me happier. I'm going to stay out of bars for a while, where I run into mutual acquaintances and continue to work on myself. I do encourage everyone though to not think the cheating person got off easy because they did the hurting. They have to live with themselves. Comment 1. I am with you when it comes to cheating. 
I would rather be the person that consciously heals from being cheated on than the person cheating. One is pain, the other is shame and shame is a much harder thing to get over. The standard response to when people tell you about someone that you really do not give a single flying fart in outer space about is that's nice and get on with not giving that flying fart in outer space. OP move on and it's the best life course for you. I hope do well.